scientists, let's talk about all of the wonderful resources we have on Earth. Earth's resources can be divided into two main categories, renewable and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources are any of the resources that can be regenerated, replaced, or cycled within one human lifespan, or about 60 to 90 years. Renewable resources include things like plants, fruits, trees, and even vegetables, since plants start as a seed and grow to be harvested in one human lifespan. There are a lot of trees and plants that live much longer than 60 to 90 years, but by that time, they've at least become mature enough to reproduce. Renewable resources also include all animals like wild animals, pets, and livestock, and even includes resources that are inexhaustible. That means that they're limitless and cannot be used up, like sunlight and wind. Non-renewable resources are the things that take a really long time to form, or that there's a non-regenerating limited number of. All non-renewable resources don't replace themselves in one human lifespan. These resources include all of fossil fuels. Fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas took millions of years to form from dead plants and animals. Other non-renewable resources like minerals, metal ores, and elements are finite pieces of the earth. For example, let's look at an element. Helium is an element. We use helium for all sorts of things, from making party balloons float to environmental lab testing. Helium is even used to cool off the magnets inside of MRIs found in hospitals and doctor's offices. But helium is actually pretty rare on Earth, and a lot of the underground caverns that we mine helium from are running out. Since helium is a non-renewable resource, once it's used up, that's it. It's used up. That's why conservation is key. Conservation is limiting the wasteful use of all of Earth's resources. We can conserve a lot of Earth's non-renewable resources by finding renewable alternatives, like using wind and solar power to create electricity. But we can conserve all of Earth's resources by reducing our usage of the resource, reusing resources, and recycling resources into something new. Now let's take a second to look at a question. 